What's this Clinton. about the uh the the Clinton memo? We haven't discussed that. Do you have uh, uh, the, the Clinton oh, memo is that. Yeah, the Clinton memo is incredible. They they released it kind of like I only know like embargoes from the press from like video games. You're not allowed to talk about like, video games or movie releases until the movie or game comes out, but apparently the Clinton memo sent the Clinton memo is a memo they sent out to all the media outlets earlier today but said they weren't allowed to talk about it until the polls closed, basically saying we already know we're going to lose and everything we talked about out making it a good fight was, was false. And the whole point of the memo was saying we're going to win anyway. Don't panic. Don't Telling the media don't create a narrative that could make people panic because specifically, and uh, Sean King talked about this on Twitter, mm-hmm. this yes, panic and black vote trust us, and so they're going to be with us Oh, for the love of God, give me that memo, yes. please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I think I want to post something in one of my Facebook groups earlier. Yeah, I don't have the link with me right now, so if someone else does, I was like, if you guys haven't talked about that, I know Ben would like to talk about I that. I would love to talk about that. Um, give me give me your last, if you have anything else, uh, Solomon, because I know you're just getting in. Give me give me one more piece, and then I'm going to pass the mic. Uh, just the talk, the other talk about it that, I'll, that Bernie kind of co-opted in his, his speech just now to try and put down was the notion of uh, the beyond New Hampshire, he has no shot, is that the Clinton campaign, because Nevada's already been a kind of a polling black hole, but it looks like the polling from both their campaign and Bernie's campaign is showing a tightening of the race in Nevada, and so they're already lowering expectations, saying, well, there's a Hispanic vote there, but there's still a lot of white people, so we can't, we can't rely on Nevada as a good test for whether Bernie would do well. So just in case he wins there, we're just a lower expectation there too, and then we'll get to North, uh, to um, to South Carolina. But they're talking about that's essentially going to be South Carolina isn't until February 27. So if Bernie wins in Nevada, it's just going to be successive blow after successive blow for her, for the neck the rest of this month. And they talked about it's too, she's essentially too big to fail for the establishment. So they're gonna have to figure out something to do to to prop her up because that and that's not me. I, I can't even take credit for that. That was Chuck Todd saying like maybe I thought maybe Joe Biden could get him, but it's like it's too late now. She's too big to fail to steal the yeah. Wall Street line. She, she can't. They can't move to someone else. They're gonna have to figure out something to do because Bernie is is surging. They they all they have to do honestly is just. Go and be progressive and get behind the progressive candidate. Anoa and then this. Anoa and then this. Go for it. Just to follow up, I just read an article yesterday that was saying that Arizona is definitely feeling the burn, and they've kind of shrugged like, eh, we're going to lose Arizona. So maybe some of that Arizona energy will spill over into Nevada. And then um, I know they've been kicking up stuff in Nevada too. So, But I just put, apparently, I didn't pay attention to this, in one of my groups, someone dropped the memo. Someone got a, their hands a memo, so that I believe is the memo um, right there. But um, but I just think we have we have a lot of ground to cover. We have two and a half weeks till South Carolina. We have less than two weeks. We have 11 days uh, to Nevada, and I do think you know despite what they're saying, you know Joy Reid made the comment. Somebody was like, well, he's getting all women, and Joy Reid was like, well, women of color. Have- let me read. Let me read a segment of this damn memo. Huh, I've had a chance to read all of them. Um, at the same, this is from Hillary Clinton. Um, what's the guy's name? Robert Mook, um, or did I say it backwards? Yeah, you know, Robbie, Robbie Mook, campaign manager for Hillary for America. Uh, I want to read these two paragraphs. I'm sure there's more, but this was enough. Um, and I quote: <clears throat> At the same time, as electorates become more diverse and media scrutiny more intense, Senator Sanders will face increased pressure to explain. Let me back up. That's not the one I want. I want to start the paragraph before that. From her days as a young lawyer with the Children's Defense Fund working to reform the juvenile justice system to her work in the Senate and as Secretary of State fighting for civil rights, voting rights, and equal opportunity, Hillary's ties to both the African-American and the Hispanic communities run deep. She's put minorities, communities, blah, 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 blah. So it's no mystery that she's received endorsements from hundreds of key African-American Hispanics, blah, 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 blah. Uh, This is what I want to get to. As the campaign moves towards states 
with more diverse electorates in March, we expect Hillary's strength among these groups will quickly translate into a major electoral advantage. At the same time, as electorates become more diverse and media scrutiny more intense, Senator Sanders will face increased pressure to explain his record, especially on issues, watch this, on issues where he deviates from President Obama, who remains exceedingly popular among Democrats in these states. Read black Democrats in these states. Democrats mm -hmm. in these states want to build on the progress made underneath President Obama. Thus, we expect Senator Sanders' positions and past votes on three of President Obama's key priorities, gun safety, immigration reform, and Obamacare, to cause significant problems for him in states with large African-American and Hispanic populations. Additionally, as the campaign moves to states with heavier presence in military personnel and veterans, blah, 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 um, questions about his commander-in-chief capacity. Last paragraph that I'm going to read, and then I'm going to eviscerate this. Um, if uh, actually my mouth is sore, so I don't know if I can. But Senator Sanders has unarguably tapped into real feelings of anger and frustration amongst voters. But what Hillary gets and what she's been fighting for her whole life is the need to break down all the barriers that hold Americans back from living up to their well, God given potential. Actually, I think there was something else I read that I, I wanted to pull out of this. Um, yeah, no, it was the beginning of this. Um, section, Hillary's strength in March contest. It will be very difficult, if not impossible, for a Democrat to win the nomination without strong levels of support amongst African American and Hispanic voters. We believe that's how it should be, blah. Um, and a Democrat who is unable to inspire strong levels of support in minority communities will have no credible path to winning the presidency. Hillary's high level of support in the African American and Hispanic communities are well known. She has maintained a wide double digit lead over Senator Sanders amongst minority voters in national surveys and in states where African American and Hispanic voters make up the large share of the electorate. Um, that type of support was not created overnight. It has been forged with over 40 years of fighting alongside communities of color. Um, I don't uh, f all uh, pretense. Hillary Clinton will not win.